yeah, those are uh, definitely two great defenses. Uh, Georgia picked on Tyreek Jackson a little bit and was able to take advantage of that matchup, but he's going to be a great player, but mm -hmm. he's only a freshman. And uh, yeah, those, those are, I'm going to say the two best defenses in the country. So looking at the Georgia defense, so I'm sure you got sick of hearing between the SEC championship game and now that, well, they were overrated. They played a bad schedule. They didn't play a quarterback, all that. Uh, and Alabama obviously had a great game plan and they, they pass protected great in the SEC championship game. But we, we saw Georgia put pressure on Bryce Young. And I thought that that was the most important part of the game. They also played amazing red zone defense. The one Alabama touchdown was a 15 yard drive. It's not even a drive. Uh, it was just an amazing defensive performance to hold Alabama to 18 points. Yeah, I think you and I talked about Nolan Smith and him making it a point to talk about leaving a legacy and how this defense wanted to to do just that. And they wanted to be able to bring their kids to Athens and say, hey, we won the first national championship in 41 years. And they stood up and they did their job. 39, 39 quarterback hurries against Bryce Young. And they may have only sacked him once, but 39 quarterback hurries. And I don't know if it was you or I talked with a guy named Rob Brown on the radio hours before the game and I mentioned that as well about how putting pressure on Bryce is going to be key because you got to make get him to make a mistake and he made he made a big one at the end of the ball game when Alabama usually runs down the field in a two-minute drill and scores again and all of a sudden you know instead of five points or whatever it was it's it's they're leading it. and so Georgia's defense stood tough and eight pass breakups too like I gotta give the secondary a ton of credit like Oh, they stepped up in a big way because that's not what they did in the SEC championship game. And, yes, Jameson Williams went down with a terrible injury, and I do genuinely hope he is okay because that young man is going to make a lot of money in the NFL. But when that happened, Georgia's secondary was able to really capitalize on those young wide receivers and, and prove a point. And you got to give it to Nicobe Dean and Channing Tindall and Nicobe just sitting there and getting in his face and making sure he knows, like, Hey, dude, you can't do that again. We have to be, be as focused and as sharp as possible. I got to give it to my defense. It's just, it's so good to see them put the pressure on an Alabama quarterback when usually that doesn't happen. And 39 quarterback hurries. So many people are like, why does a quarterback hurry even matter? Like, why is that a stat? Well, it forced a pick six, it, it forced another interception, uh, it forced mistakes left and right. And I think Georgia had nine tackles for a loss versus four, maybe, I don't remember the SEC championship number, but it was a significant increase. And Georgia's defense did their job. They they were, it didn't matter how tired Alabama made them by pushing down the field with Brian Robinson. They found the energy and they, they found a way. And credit to Dan Lanning, who could have been, you know, folk, his focus could have been elsewhere. But instead, between him, Glenn Schumann, and Will Muschamp, like, they called a heck of a ball game and, and, they, they made Nick Saban work for every bit of the, the success that they found on Monday night.